Well, hi everybody. This is take two because I didn't have the volume turned up the last time I tried to run this, so I'm doing it again. Obviously, I'm a much better homeopath than I am a videographer. Any case, I'm here to continue our discussion about remedies for sleep. And specifically, I'd like to talk about a very special remedy that's perfect for sleeplessness if you're not sleeping because you've been caring for somebody who's sick. So if you've ever had the horrible experience, sorry about that, little glitch on the internet. So if you've ever had the experience of unfortunately having to sit overnight or days at a time in the family waiting room outside the ICU, or you've been in the emergency room waiting for hours to see a doctor with someone who's really sick, then you know what it's like to not be able to sleep because you're worried. And even though you're exhausted, you just put your head on the pillow and just sleep will not come. So the remedy for that is a great remedy called Cocculus Indicus. So Cocculus Indicus is made from a plant. This is the 30C dilution, meaning it's been diluted 30 times in 100 drops of water each time. And this remedy is really great for insomnia or other ailments from nursing the sick. This is especially important if you've been taking care of someone who's sick, you're up with a sick child, and it's a combination of insomnia and fatigue and uh, we're anxiety about somebody else's health. So that's the remedy you want is Cocculus Indicus. It's also a really great remedy for motion sickness. There's actually two remedies you can get over the counter for motion sickness, and we'll be talking about that next time when we talk about remedies for travel. So if you're interested in knowing more about remedies for sleep that you can use over the counter, that you can use instead of Ambien or other medications that tend to be habit forming, I wrote a little book about it. It's called, What's the Remedy for That? Yeah, you can tell I'm getting, I'm still getting used to this whole, um, whole video thing. So the remedy is called, what's, the book is called, What's the Remedy for That? And you can get it on Amazon. I left you the link down below. I also left you the link to Amazon to order Coculus Indicus, this remedy. It'll cost you $9 on Amazon. They'll send it to your house. And that's especially helpful if you live someplace where you're not close to a health food store that carries the 60 remedies that Boyron carries, uh, sells in the health food store. So if you go to Amazon and you get this book, it's called, What's the Remedy for That? There we go. The Definitive Homeopathy Guide to Mastering Everyday Self-Care Without Drugs. So you can get it on Amazon. They'll send it right to your house. It teaches you how to use all the remedies that I've been talking about, including remedies for sleeplessness. So that's all for this time. Next time we'll talk about remedies for travel, especially for a lot of people who are going on vacation. There's nothing worse than being sick when you're on vacation. And if you know the top 10 remedies to never travel without, then anytime you go, uh, go away from home, if you happen to be sick for the most common remedies, these are the most common remedies for, um, uh, for travel. If you'd like more about information about uh, remedies for travel, on my website, drkathyfry.com, there's a free report that said, it's called the top 10 remedies to never travel without. So you could download that. And then next week, we'll start talking about each of those 10 remedies in order. And uh, we'll cover everything from motion sickness, uh, food poisoning, what happens if you step on a nail or you get attacked by a million mosquitoes, because there's remedies for all of that. Alrighty, well thanks so much for listening and we'll catch you next time. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.